What a ride this game has been. I've been a Star Wars fan for as long as I can remember, and let's be honest, the last few years of Star Wars media has kind of been really hit and miss. I really enjoyed Jedi Fallen Order and its photo mode, but it left a lot to be desired. Survivor has not only stepped up in the photo mode in a big way, but it may be my favorite Star Wars content in years. So let's jump right in. This photo mode is excellent, and it's excellent not just because of a great plethora of options, but because of the results. A toolset is one thing, but the quality of image is another entirely. Granted, this doesn't necessarily rely on the photo mode, but I do like to take all the visual and design aesthetics into account when doing these reviews. Other than Horizon Forbidden West, I'm not sure any game comes close to Jedi Survivor's cinematic quality in its photo mode. Take this shot for example. This set of images was one of my favorites in the early stages of the game, and I still love looking at how the camera handled the complex effects happening here. We've got lightsabers, sparks, external lights, and even lights that I, the player, set in the scene. Look how magnificent this looks. I mean, this shot of the lightsaber has the smoothest and most camera accurate transition between out of focus and in focus that I might have ever seen in a game. Beyond the quality of the images, the toolset is just great. The three-point lighting rig in particular is much appreciated. Instead of it being fixed lights like in Gotham Knights, you can manually place them anywhere in the scene. This allows the player full control of how they want an image to look, and where you want the focus to be. Lights are becoming such a mainstay in photo modes, and I love it. Even adding a small highlight adds so much shape and depth to an otherwise flat portrait. The range of the camera is great, allowing for some really wide shots, and another thing that I really wasn't expecting this game to do was the generous allowance of when we can use the photo mode. What I mean by that is you can activate it almost anywhere as long as it's not a pre-rendered cinematic. So most games will lock out the user from entering photo mode once any sort of cutscene begins. And while this game doesn't completely allow you to do that, what you can do is more than I'd expect. Take this sequence here where Cal and Marin are using the Force. This part in the game was seemingly a cutscene that I just had to watch play out, and yet I could pause and even move the camera around the scene. I just love that. Needless to say, the photo mode is just great. Beyond that, the game is great. What a fascinating, thrilling, and heartbreaking story within the Star Wars universe. I'm so pleased with the care Respawn has taken to create an authentic Star Wars story that taps into the themes that we're all so familiar with. I hope everyone who's playing this game is enjoying capturing it. Star Wars is so, so special to me, and I'm just giddy at the thought of taking more photos. Thanks for watching.